Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. As you can see in front of you today, we are taking a look at the Wicked Watch Co. Uh, Wicked Watch Co. Uh, Pearl Diver Prototype. Now this is a very unique bronze dive watch, and I think it's a pretty good value considering the price that this man, Pascal, uh, he actually resides and was born in Basel, Switzerland, so that's pretty cool. A lot of the components on this watch are made in Switzerland, and this will be marked Swiss made on the final production units, because it does have, I believe, 50% or more of uh, Swiss made parts, and the movement will be installed in Switzerland. I believe those are the rules, if I'm not correct. Anyway, it's a really kind of unique dive watch. This is the Pearl Diver with this nice pearl dial, uh, which you can see, which is really, really fascinating. And I thought it was a very interesting watch, so I thought we'd take a closer look at it today. Um, there's a lot of changes that's going to be happening on the final units. I just want to let you know I will go, go through that at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, I think it's a very unique bronze dive watch. It has a nice set of dimensions. It's not uh, a huge watch. I know a lot of people nowadays like smaller watches. Well, not small, small, but you know, it'll fit the smaller and mid-sized wrist just as good as an average size wrist as well. Anyway, um, first I want to go through some basic specifications on the actual model we're looking at today. And then we'll get dive a little deeper into the packaging and the pricing. So the Pearl Diver is housed in a 40 millimeter diameter case. We're looking at 46 millimeters lug to lug. So it's really a really nice compact size for a bronze dive watch. In terms of lug width, we have 22 millimeter lugs. One change I'm gonna go through quickly. There are uh, uh, screws here with a kind of spring going through here. This will have regular spring bars on the production unit, so you don't have to unscrew it, hold it inside, then pull the bar out to change the actual strap, because there are some strap options as well. Okay, so the watch itself is made of CU, uh, CU SN8 bronze. Uh, it's pretty much brushed all around. We'll have some finer brushing on the actual production models as well. Um, if I get you a little closer here, very nice kind of unique design here. If you look at that, um, kind of, you know, kind of like a little slab sided here, then it comes down to a point. So you can see nice signed loomed crown. Uh, we have a dive bezel, of course. This is a dive watch. As you can see, these sides are very unique. Um, the shape is very unique. I don't really know of any other watches that look like this. So I think that's a pretty cool thing. Um, we get 120 click bezels. You can see there's some notches here. You have some pretty good grip on the actual bezel. Now the Dial, like I said, it comes in this, and there are a few other options. I'll show I'll throw up a photo of the nice red dial. I actually do have a red dial in hand. I can show, I'm going to show you guys when I show you the loom, because the loom is absolutely crazy on this watch. We get a double domed sapphire crystal, which is always good. As you can see, you can see that dome there, which pops up okay, a little between. Yeah, you can kind of see the dome there. I think you can see it. So we get a double domed sapphire crystal. Now this is the STP 111 model that has a Swiss made caliber, the STP 111, produced by the Fossil Group, it's an automatic caliber. Kind of very similar to the ETA 2824 or the Salida SW200. Um, it's a great movement, it beats at four hertz or 28,800 beats per hour. And those will start at 335 US dollars on their Kickstarter campaign, which I will drop a link down in the description below. So if you want to follow the campaign when they launch, you can grab one of these quick. They will have an NH35 version if you don't have enough money to get the actual Swiss uh, automatic version at about $225, which I think is a really good price for something like this. And, you know, the quality that really this watch has. I mean, it's a very good quality watch. Uh, you might have seen this watch on some other channels, maybe. I'm not sure. But it's definitely a very good quality watch. I will give you my word on that. Now, some different things that they did. Well, they really do care about the loom. Um, <laughs> and you will see, this has crazy, crazy amounts of loom on the applied markers, on the hands, and on the actual bronze bezel as well. Now, getting to the bezel, there will be a 0 through 15 here as well on final production units, so you can time your dives a little bit better. If I get you in a little closer on the dial, it does say printed wicked below the 12 with that nice hourglass, which I thought was pretty cool. I've never seen that on my watch. Pearl Diver, 200 meters. This is a 200 meter rated watch with a screw down crown and a screw down case back. And the case back is not in bronze, of course, because you do not want that bronze on your skin. This watch will patina over time. Now, this one really hasn't patina that much. Uh, it must be a pretty new watch because uh, there's not much patina on it. And this one definitely has been around to a couple different people. Anyway, the loom that's actually applied on this watch is done in a way called Lumicast. They kind of put the powder on there and somehow it sticks to the markers and creates a super bright loom. 
Um, a lot of other big Swiss companies do it that way, supposedly, such as IWC and a few others that I'm not going to name. Um, but yeah, um, also there are going to be some options with straps. This is on a nice genuine leather band, which I think looks good. But, you know, on a dive watch, obviously you want to take this thing in the water. Um, you're going to need to put on a rubber strap or a NATO strap. Um, so there are going to be some options for straps, which I do have here, a nice bronze NATO and a end fitted rubber band as well to show you. As you can see, the buckle is loomed as well with the logo with a nice bronze custom buckle. This strap is comfortable, nice little end stitching here as you can see. Uh, Wicked Watch Co. printed. Take a quick glance at the case back as you can see, CU SN8 bronze. You get the Wicked logo, kind of like a little dragon, which is pretty cool. STP 111 sapphire crystal. And yeah, pretty simple. And I believe that's sandblasted stainless steel on the case back. So I think that's a nice little touch as well. Now the STP 111 is very easy to function. You function it just as any other Swiss caliber. You can unscrew the crown. This crown uh, functions pretty good. You get self-winding, which is pretty smooth. And then you pull out, you get hacking, and you can set the time here. The hands, there will be some changes on the hands as well. I believe they'll be a little smaller. And the second uh, hand, as you can see there, will be a little longer, reaching all the way out, which is a nice touch. Nice little anchor on the counterbalance as well, if you didn't notice that. A lot of small details on this watch. Set the time, push it back down, screw it back in, and you're good to go. There also will be loom options. <laughs> I know it's a lot of information to take in, but bear with me here. Um, there will be loom options. So if you want a BGW9 bezel, and then you want C3 on the dial, you can get that. I think he's working on that for the campaign. Or if you want BGW9 on the hands, or you know C3 on something else, I think that you're going to be able to do that and pick what you want. So very customizable loom options, which is pretty cool. Although I think it looks pretty good like this. I mean, this loom is super potent. Probably some of the most potent loom I have seen. Um, definitely matches up to Zelos's loom, which I reviewed that watch uh, this week, I believe. Definitely matches up or even is a bit stronger. It's like extremely potent, this loom. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, the 120 click bezel is actually really nice. And I was quite surprised by that. It's usually bronze dive bezels are quite iffy sometimes with the material, bronze being harder to uh, cut. But everything is very nice and very smooth. It's sturdy without much back play. And I think it's the perfect, perfect uh, style that we want here. So yeah, everything's good with the bezel there. And yeah, like I said, um, just a very nice compact watch. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on my wrist first and then I'll show you the all of the stuff that it can come with on the Kickstarter campaign, some cool leather pouches, your tools. And right now I'm gonna throw it on my wrist. My wrist is 6.75 inches. And let's see what it looks like. There she is on my 6.5 inch wrist, 6.75 inch wrist if it's hot out. And as you can see, it rides really nice on the wrist, that 46 across. It's a nice comfortable fit, almost like a cushion fit. And it's not too thick at all, which is really nice. I believe the case thickness on my calipers, this one came in at 13.5 millimeters. That's including the crystal. So talk about, I would say about 13 millimeters thick. But it really quite sinks into the wrist and wears very nice there, even on this genuine leather band here. Uh, but yeah, definitely very comfortable, a good size, a size that I do like and I do wear daily uh, with all of my other dive watches that I own. Now going right into a loom shot, as you can see the loom is really, really potent. This one does last the night and <laughs> it's very strong. Uh, it's almost blinding. Uh, so definitely the way that they did it and the way that he did the loom is definitely something I want to see on other watches. It's really, really strong. I really haven't seen uh, work like this especially on dive watches that I've reviewed, and I've reviewed over three or 400 watches. So definitely really potent loom. Now this watch roll was included. Uh, this is what the watch actually came in, this prototype, as you can see. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a little leather roll here with the Wicked Watch Co. I'm not sure if this actual part is bronze as well. I wouldn't doubt it, but um, it's definitely the same color tone. As you can see, it's a nice little pouch here. You can hold three watches in here. Um, yeah, I thought that was not very nice. It's always nice to get a watch roll with a watch so you can store your other watches in. There's also a pouch with the tools. As you can see here, this is the nice genuine leather pouch with the tools. This is a spring, this is actually to unscrew the thing, but I don't think you'll be needing that um, because there will be actual spring bars in there. And this just has some extra stuff in it as well, spring bars and such. And your watch or manual will actually come in here. And I believe I have the manual as well. Yes, I do. So here's your little Wicked Watch Co. manual, as you can see, 
It'll give you all your instructions, congratulations, uh, their official website, wickedwatchco.ch, all that cool stuff, company details, email, uh, phone number, and uh, their story. And as you can see, there's the STP 111 if you wanted some more information. It has 26 joules, beats at 4 hertz, 44 hour power reserve, plus or minus 15, produced in Switzerland, and that's the movement uh, that uh, is in this actual uh, model we're taking a look at today, if you don't know what the STP-111 looks like. Now this is one of the end-fitted uh, custom Wicked Watch Co. rubber bands that will actually fit straight into the watch, as you can see here. This is genuine rubber, very nice and flexible. Um, I think this is a good option if you want to take it in the water. I think the leather is fine if you're going to wear it on the land, no issues with that whatsoever. Not a lot of people go diving nowadays anyway, even take their watches in the water. Um, a nice bronze buckle with the loomed buckle, as you can see here, very cool. And it fits very nice on the watch. I think it would look pretty cool on there, um, as you can see here. Um, yeah, definitely a nice fit. There also is a bronze NATO strap, as you can see here. Um, I've never actually seen a bronze NATO strap. I'm sure they're out there, but um, as you can see, all the hardware is in bronze. You have that seatbelt style. Very nice strap. This is 22 millimeters, of course. You have, I don't believe this one is loomed. Uh, but yeah, you have a custom buckle and bronze hardware here. Wicked over here. Yeah, that says Wicked. Yeah, just a pretty cool bronze NATO to match the actual watch. These are all going to be options and such on their Kickstarter campaign, as I explained earlier. Now here's an actual kind of the reddish dial variation that they do have. This is an actual dial, which is actually really, really well made. Um, as you can see, the loom is very thick on there. If I get you in a little bit closer, you can really see... Uh, it's very neatly applied, that loom, and it glows, like, extremely... Oh, we focus there. It grows, <laughs> it grows, it glows extremely bright. This loom li literally lasts, like, hours upon hours. It's quite insane. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Wicked Watch Co. Pearl Diver. I think it's a good release. It's coming to Kickstarter soon if you're interested in it. Definitely uh, check and follow their campaign. I will leave that link in the description below. I think it's a cool watch. You have a loomed crown, you have amazing loom, even a loomed buckle, which is something I haven't seen yet. So I thought that was pretty cool. The quality is definitely there. It's definitely a well-built, compact 40 millimeter dive watch, which a lot of people are really looking for with a Swiss automatic movement. I think that's the way to go. If I was gonna buy one, or if I am gonna buy one, I'm definitely going for the Swiss STP-111. It's a great movement. I've owned a few watches with the STP-111. And this dial is actually really, really interesting. It's kind of like a mother of pearl kind of all over the place. Look at that. Definitely matches the name, this dial, I must say. But that red dial is actually pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Definitely smash the video with a like if you enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this. Once again, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the Wicked Watch Curl Pearl Dot. I keep messing it up, right? Wicked Watch Co. Pearl Diver. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.